Which objection do you think agents struggle with the most um, early in a call? Um, I'm curious what, I, I, what you guys are, are, are thinking, by the way, too. You feel free to comment and let us know, you know, or share this and let us know what you're thinking would be your biggest objection. And let's see if Greg hits it right here. Okay. So I, I think the biggest one that sales agents struggle with is the, I don't have time for this. Can you call me back later? Mm. That's the biggest one. I, I Because you know what? Because I think generally human beings, when you get them on the phone, don't want to be rude. We don't yeah. want to be rude to people. You no. know, I think inwardly, every one of us have, you know, you know, have a soft spot. Yeah. That's where the emotional comes in. You know, yes. I've been able to, to turn around some of the, 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 the most stubborn, most nasty individual. Why? Because I was the greatest salesman or I was the greatest, you know, no, because I, I was able to tap into that person's emotion. Yes. And that's the key. So um, I think when somebody says, can you call me back later? Yeah. The agent goes, well, they're giving me a chance. Yes. They're not saying no. Yeah. They're giving me a chance. Okay. What, what do you think of that? Naturally, when you hear that. It's an absolute blow off. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Because you would have picked up the phone if you didn't have time. Correct. So what happened was. I they, love that, by the way. Yeah. You want to, you want to pick up the phone. Um, so it, it, it goes back to, you know. Uh, I'll tell you a quick little story, okay. uh, but let me, let me answer that objection real quick because you know, yes. most agents will go ahead and what they'll do is they'll go, okay, they'll initially go to, okay, what time's better to call you back? So what did I just do, Cody, when I said that? What did I just say when I said, I mean, you what just gave them all the control and, 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 and realized the call's over. You kind of admitted defeat, really. Right. But I also did something even more important What's up? is I went ahead and said, my time's not valuable. Mm, that's good. My yeah. time's not valuable. Yeah. Whenever you okay. want. Yeah. So That's you know, good. If, if if I if if I called, and this this might this might be a bad a bad thing, but you know if you know if um if if I were to if the the president of the United States were to call me, that might yes. be a bad bad example. Okay. But what I say what I say to that person, or somebody in high high power. Okay. Let's maybe use somebody else. Somebody yeah. in high power, but, but to that extent. Okay. Right. If they were to call me, would I say I, I don't have time for this right now? Can you, can hmm. you call me back later? No. I uh, no, that's not happening. Yeah. You're, you're lucky to have me on the phone with you yeah. right now. You know what my time is worth. You know what? Right. I mean, I just called you out of the blue. So, you know. It wouldn't matter if you loved or the correct. president so, so, or not. So, so, so you're right. So any any president You'd that listen. would call you, whether you agreed with them or not, you're still going to take the call. Correct. And you're still going to respect the office. Yes. No matter what it is. 100%. Okay. Um, so 100%. in that in that aspect of it, because I've seen that happen too, and I've seen other things where, you know, a president calls somebody that did not like that person but Correct. they still were respectful totally because of the office totally so that's what you have to be as a, as a, as a salesperson too yes. when you know they dylan didn't realize this that this episode was gonna get so political that's good no i'm just kidding <laughs> now you would though you're right yeah, you're good. right you know so but um so in that aspect of it is when you know i looked at it from this standpoint is this and this is you know this is looking at you know a whole different mindset it's a whole different level and that this yes. is where the book goes into it and why i wrote that book Yep. Was because you have to take yourself to a different mindset because mm. there's a lot of opening acts out there. There's a lot of yes. lounge acts. Okay. Yes. There's very few rock stars. And if I can turn one person into a rock star because of that book, I've done my job. Yeah. Okay. I hope it, I hope it's a lot more. Okay. Yeah. But if I can change, so it's going to an aspect of, so when somebody would call me and somebody would tell me they didn't have time. Okay. I want a whole different level and here it is. This is going to blow your audience away. Okay. Let's do this. I would say to myself, the universe sent me this person for a reason. Mm. I can't dismiss it. So if I dismiss it, I was telling the universe that they were that 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 they didn't matter. And so I looked at every call that way, and that's really making it a unique experience. That yeah. comes down to the whole rock star mindset. What you know, yeah. what does a rock star do? Are they some of these rock stars out there, are they the greatest singers on the planet? No. No. They put on an extremely unique experience yes. that changed it. Okay. Yes. So I looked at every phone call as a unique experience. So that allowed yes. me not to look at it as a transaction. Yes. It made me look at it as a personal thing. Yeah. Cause you bring up a good point. Cause if they, if they could be the greatest singer in the world, but if they just sit there on a bar stool and they never move and they're not entertaining, I don't want to sit there. No. You know, no yeah. matter how good they are at singing, they've got to keep me entertained. You're going to walk out. Yes. And that's the same thing in phone sales. Yeah. Because guess what? If you're not, if you're not making a, you, you're not making that call unique to you. Yes. Then at that point going forward, 
I mean, you're, 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 they're, they're going to walk out. They're going to walk out. Yeah. And so you've got to engage that person. So when I looked yeah. at was this, is anybody that, anybody that picked up the phone that talked to me, okay, I would tell myself this. The universe just sent me this person for a reason. I don't know what it is, okay? It could be that they need help. Yes. But it could be something even more than that. You ready? Mm. Couldn't be to make me better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I always say this. My greatest sales calls I've ever had are the ones I've never closed. How powerful mm. is that? How powerful is that? That is powerful because you know, you'd think the opposite. You'd think the opposite. The yeah. greatest sales phone calls I've ever had, the ones I yes. never, ever closed. Because what I did was after that phone call ended, and we talked about it a little bit yesterday, I reverse engineered the phone call. Yep. I said to myself, where did I go wrong? When that person picked up the phone and said, I don't have time for this. And then they hung up the phone. I started thinking to myself, what could I have said mm. to have kept them on that phone for a couple of seconds longer? And then I would work on it. Yeah. Next time that happened, I'd be really quick and then it would work. And then yeah. I would start using it more and more and more. Yeah. And so that, you know, the, the look at every phone call as, as, as the universe basically yeah. sending you somebody to either help out right. or to make you better. There was one thing you said one time that I loved when someone was like um, really upset at the beginning. They're about to hang up and you said, hang on, sh 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 shut your mouth. Just, just, <laughs> just kidding. He didn't say yeah. that. But that would be freaking hilarious if he did. Yeah, no, 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 no. So that's a stepbrothers thing. I like that one. <laughs> I saw a picture of that last night. Someone was like, uh, I love it. Yeah. yeah. I'm a movie guy. So yeah. No, I, I, I do that with my wife sometimes. I'm like, you know, shut your mouth. No, shut your mouth. <laughs> and and she, she knows what I'm talking about or else I get slapped and punched across yeah, the face. Yeah, exactly. But, yes. But, yes. Um, and she knows you're but, kidding. But you, you have to have a little humor too when you're doing it. You, know? you so do. It's, it's, and it's, you seem, you, on that note, you brought something up last night on our Rising Stars Mastermind. Okay, that's a private coaching call we do every Monday. You need to be on that if you're not. Greg was one of our co-hosts of that last night because I'm bringing industry leaders and rock stars on that every Monday. And he, you talked about um, ha getting someone to laugh. Yep. Getting someone that emotional connection. And you know, if I can get them to like laugh or chuckle or I can help the emotional bond a little bit, there's a really good chance I'm going to help this person. Correct. Yep. And that's, you know, that's, that's the key. So, I mean, it just, yeah. it's trying to find that, you know, that. It's not about that, product knowledge at all with that either. No, no. That's I mean, what's you, cool. You know, and, you know, I, I'd say some of the stupidest jokes sometimes. I'd be like, that was so stupid. And then they would, <laughs> they, they would chuckle because they were probably like, yeah, that was really stupid. Yeah, was that dumb. was it. Yeah. That's all I needed was just that, you know, that, you know, it, it's that it comes down to now, now, now that you're a, a movie person, I can't remember yeah. what movie it was where he walks up and says, you know, you know, you know, how much does a polar bear weigh? I think it was Wedding Crashers. Oh, um, I love I think, Wedding Crashers. I think he walks and goes, how, how much does a polar bear weigh? And he goes, enough to, enough to break the ice. <laughs> it shakes the that's hand, you know? right. You know, I think that is yeah. that so. So that you know, that's so stupid. But guess what? You're laughing. I'm I laughing because it's so still and smiling back it's there. So stupid. We start so, getting movies involved. He's yeah. going to want to jump on, so, on the so, mic too. So somebody's being rude to you. Like, you could do something that stupid. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you a quick question. How much is the polar bear weigh? What the heck are you talking about, dude? Like I, I <laughs> I'm trying to get you off of my phone call. Like what? We have my. Hey man, Cody, just just enough to break the ice. So, <laughs> yes. hey, I, you know, and, and then boom, you go right into it, and then all of a sudden That's they're so still good. talking. It's like then all of a sudden, That's like this so this guy is cool, this girl is cool. I don't yeah, I don't know if I'm buying from them yet, but. Yes. This guy's kind of cool. This girl's kind of cool. I'm going to keep that conversation going. That's you know? so really what just, you're trying to do with an objection, by the way, is you're just, just trying to get them to continue on the call. That's it. Almost get them to forget they even had an objection. Right? Correct. And that's the same thing with some humor because that happens. And the last thing they're going to think is, I told him I wasn't interested. No, they're going to be like, this dude, what is going on here? They would be confused. It would almost, hit, it would almost like the, throw them back. But, but it's a good thing because correct. it's, it's going to take their mind off of what's going on. Hey, if you enjoyed this. I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. But I would say my favorite interview is probably Kobe because we have a relationship to, and we have a connection together from what era he comes, it would probably be Kobe. Uh, then probably just a couple of these mob stuff that I do.